sphere can create the illusion representing the best version of the user, and this hack can heal any injuries or curses. In this video we take a look at the top most powerful weapons and objects in the Owl House universe. Make sure you stick around to see our pick for the most powerful object. This is the most powerful weapons and objects in the Owl House universe. The Bellows Staff Bellows Staff is the staff used by Emperor Bellows. The staff appears to be a mechanical version of the standard Witch Staff. Able to unfold from the lower rod section, it can be easily concealed beneath Bellows Cloak. Similar to Curses, the staff emits a red glow when used, and does not require spell circles to use its magic. Unlike other Witch Staffs, the staff does not feature a Palisman. However, in its place there is a red orb with a white gold wing next to it, which acts as a focusing point for magic when being used. In King's Tide, Bellos uses his staff to begin the draining spell by drawing lines around the nine coven heads, then releasing a blast of magic to activate the spell. He later uses his staff to battle loose when she is brought to him and soon overpowers her. It is unknown what happened to the staff after the Collector seemingly killed Bellos. The Green Thumb Gauntlet The Green Thumb Gauntlet is one of the relics found in the relic room in the Emperor's Castle. It is wielded by Willow Park temporarily when helping Luz Noceda stealing the healing hat. The gauntlet is brown and resembles the texture and appearance of a older gardening glove. When used the gauntlet glows green. As explained by Willow, the gauntlet allows the user to physically manifest any flower, tree or plant they can imagine. Furthermore, this gauntlet can create plants with force, intended to damage our opponent or break something down. For example, Willow creates a tree with branches, that quickly moving through to break down a barrier created by Emperor Bellos. Next up we have the Branding Glove. A branding glove is a glove that allows the wearer to brand witches with the coven sigil, sealing their magic away and are only able to use the magic associated with their coven. Philip Whitband invented the glove after learning of the draining spell. His first known attempt was after faking attack on a town by wild witches and manipulating nine surviving residents into joining his new coven system. After they are branded however, the nine witches succumb to the brand's effects and are left in a weakened, agonizing state. Centuries later, the glove has been perfected and the witches no longer die from their brands. After Las Nocera in the body of Edda Clarthorn is arrested, Lilith Clarthorn, thinking Edda wants to join a coven, requests a branding glove and unsuccessfully attempts to brand her sister. Shortly before the Day of Unity, Adrian attempts to trick the students of Hexide School of Magic and Demonics into joining a coven under the false claim of giving them fake temporary sigils. After Gus Porter reveals his plan, Adrian attempts to forcibly brand Gus into the Abomination Coven, but the boy escapes with the help of Hunter after he creates a school-wide illusion. In an attempt to stop the draining spell, the Covens against the throne plan on branding Ida with a barred sigil and have her take the place of Rainy Whispers. She is branded as they reach their destination. Shortly after when Lass is fighting Bellos, she pretends to side with him and brands him with a glove she found, using an invisibility glyph to hide it, so that he is affected by the spell as well and force him to stop it. However, her plan backfires, because Bellos doesn't have the power to stop the spell and turns into his monster form instead. The Oracle Sphere The Oracle Sphere is a relic located in the relic room, inside the Emperor's castle. The sphere is white, similar to that of a pearl. It is covered by a two-headed golden snake with blue eyes. The sphere can look at someone, read them and see what would be the best possible version of them, both visually and emotionally. It is used by Gus Porter temporarily when attempting to help Lass steal the healing hat. The Concealment Stone Concealment stones, sometimes called cloaking stones, 
are magical objects that conceal one's true appearance. As they only alter how the user physically appears, they cannot conceal or alter their voice. Amira and Edric both use concealment stones to hide their real appearance. Amira's is a green stone kept on her chest, and Edric's is a blue drop stone hidden under his sleeve. They both serve to hide the real appearances of the twins, and when removed, it reveals how they truly look. Amity also uses concealment stones to hide her identity in the Reaching Out episode. The Healing Hand The Healing Hat was a relic located in the Relic Room in the Emperor's Castle, made using the magic of the Savage Ages. The hat is a typical wizard-style hat. Its main color scheme is royal blue, with a golden band wrapped around the cone-shaped part of the hat. It has a hand peeking out of the side of the hat, which is meant to represent the logo for the Healing Coven. This hat can heal any diseases or injuries, and additionally can lift any curse. Lars tries to steal the hat to heal Ida's curse, but is caught by Lilith. Lilith tries to take it away from Lars, but Lars holds on to the hat, resulting in the hat being torn apart and destroyed. The Gardor Stone Gardor stones are ancient relics that boost magic power and can be found in the Looking Glass ruins. It is a highly sought after relic for its power enhancing properties. Thanks to their ability to boost magic of its holder, Galdor's stones are highly desired by witches and demons alike. However, due to their inability to boost illusion magic, members of the Illusion Coven are tasked with guarding these relics, as it is most unlikely for illusionists that they could use the power of the Galdor stones for evil purposes. When one of these illusionists pass away, a statue is built in their honor, and the Galdor stone they guarded is placed in the statue's hands. A large number of Galdor stones can be found in the Looking Glass ruins, the final resting place for many illusionists. It is fiercely guarded by the keeper of the Looking Glass graveyard, who caused the illusion of a terrifying guardian that commands the weather and ghosts. However, when a talented young illusionist named Gus Porter figures out the Guardian is just illusion, Briar, Gavin and Engmar take the Galdor stones for themselves, though they are subsequently returned after Gus forces them to flee. I hope you liked the video. Please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.